Good evening, guys. It's me, Josiah. I'm gonna make this little video about July the 4th. I know it's kind of like late already, but you know, let me tell you a history of this country. That'll interest you. Okay. The Second Amendment was made that for tyranny. Okay. And it was also made because you know uh, it prevents you know a tyrannical government from taking over. Look at what happened to Germany. Okay. What happened in Russia when uh, the populace is made helpless? They can you know, their fate is controlled by the small by a small number of elites. Hitler, Stalin, okay. Look what happened in the Philippines like under Marcos, a small band of elite people. You know, we call us that. You know, uh, control the top. How do you prevent that, that? Prevent that majority. The majority of people like you know don't agree with you. They can kick you out. And that's the thing. July the fourth was, you know, was came at in Independence Day, came and the Revolution of War came by accident. Okay, there was seven years war when the when when now uh, the United Kingdom, the British, and the French, you know, this being you know, uh, back then the sport was fighting each other. Okay, it goes back, you know, I can explain. You can, you can look at stuff. He went back to the William the Conqueror, okay? It, you know, so this rivalry heated up for seven years and it bankrupt both nations, especially Britain. You know, who's gonna, you know, uh, to prevent this war from happening, or to, to pay for this war, they emptied out their, uh, you know, their gold reserves, okay? Emptied out everything, okay? Because you want to buy weapons and everything, right? Now, what happens then? Well, back then, you know, uh, to be a British citizen, so that a British citizen under the Queen back then, even though you belong in England, that you were still a number one citizen compared to a colonist. A colonist back then, you know, even can even serve in the we call this in the American Revolutionary War. Okay, well, I mean, you got serve in the we call this even you know you got serve in the British Armed Forces back then. If you're colonial back then. Even the George Washington, qualified he is, he could have become an officer in the British military back then. See how second class citizens of America were back then? Because they were colonists. Their job was to you know, to bring back resources, and produce resources back to the mother country. Well, <laughs> back then they forgot all that, you know. A lot of very, very keen people migrated to America. Uh, Jewish merchants. Uh, Masons, uh, business people, so every time the people migrate to America to make a, a, no, uh, make something out of it, okay. So this new world that they can't make it to the British upper class, they made it here in America. So if you know the, the signatures of the Revolutionary War, every signature there is are those people who are elites who were never made it to Britain, okay. Like uh, the Washington, no, George Washington's family, he never made it through Britain. The family eked a, in a hard living to make it here. When he came over here, George Washington was descended. He was a successful, you know, not successful, but at least that he was living the, Amer the, the American dream, freedom. He can choose his own path and blaze it. Well, well, after the Seven Years' War, what happens? They install a tax. For us, for the American, for the colonists to pay. Now, all these little bit people called, you know, uh, you know uh, the fathers of our country, Samuel Adams, uh, Patrick Henry, who was, in, you know, was not even uh, American, was a British citizen. They they found out that they you know under the rule of the king, it was very very uh, uh, tightening. It was very suffocating. They can't, you know, uh, express their thing. Okay, they found that the United States had the resources to become its own country. Okay, they had passed their own laws. And they said, you know what? We have more population than England. Our people are different. They're not even British citizens. They're, you know, they're, they're caught. Their colors were different physically. They were taller than, uh, than the British people. Most of them, you know, they've never been to Britain. They've never been to Europe. So they were their own people. The different people. The British people and the colonists. So the colonists of that, you know, they have the few elites that, 
they became, uh, you know, what, forget the founders of the country. They said, you know what? They studied the Greek culture. And they found out that, that, you know, a king cannot go to war without the permission of the people. That's why they had two kings in a, in, in, in a, a Greek city state. Because want to go to war, one said, hey, no, we're not going to go to war. We must have, have a full agreement of the people. We must vote us in. Under that rule, they decided, you know what? We'll make it a go. If we got to live under the tyranny of a king that doesn't even know us, guess what? They had a war, okay? The Revolutionary War, okay? And you know why Second Amendment was so special? They had a hunting rifle back then, a musket that was maybe close to seven foot, you know, like a seven foot, a seven foot uh, long uh, rifle, okay? It's a brand, it's a Pennsylvania brandy musket. And that rifle that was used for hunting. And the British had a weapon, okay? Their own, uh, their own, uh, you know, their own rifle, a musket rifle. It was like maybe six feet. But they found out that that rifle of that was not, you know, a good accuracy from a long distance. So in Saratoga of that, they were handed the first defeat. Because all you know, these people had, you know, the, the Revolutionary War people had these muskets. So they can aim and pick off officers and also pick off a lot of, a lot of soldiers. That's why the Americans were great in guerrilla warfare because they have this rifle. And everybody in the colony had the same rifle. Because they have the right to protect their property. Because the British back then, they know we'll quarter people, we'll quarter troops in their house. That's why if you see the, the American Amendment of the United States, it protects property, it protects the rights of people. See that, huh? That's why the liberals didn't like that. Because you know why? It expressed freedom. Liberals that uh, you know, who are beyond far left. Some of the liberals are good. The people, some liberals are good. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. But the far left liberals believe in government autonomy because they believe in control. They believe in the hegemony. That's not work that way. You must leave people alone with that individuality. We, we, each one has an, an individuality to know who, who, to choose your own destiny. That's why that, you know, they are afraid of the Second Amendment. Because they know, you know, if they can cheat in voting, they gotta cheat the, the you know, they, they gotta cheat, cheat and cheat the bullet. That's why like that you know you see right now that they're trying to make uh, amendments to ban rifles and guns because you know why, they know their rules illegal. That's how the Democrats are that, and some not all Democrats, some, some Democrats follow the law, but most Democrats up there in upper echelon, they lost their thing. Even some Republicans lost their oath. That's why when you see the January uh, 9 uh, no, uh, thing there, even though it's not, you know, not real, they were, they, you know, they were scared that that, that, that that could happen because you know why? The rule of the people was in was designed by the rule of government of the United States. Okay, we can vote you out. Then make all this. If you press the people, I guess what happens? That's why revolutionary war was always, always an option. That's why like that, you know, it's very important that that we all have a guiding voice and no. Like see, we see, you see what happens like like, like this in you know, COVID. If you to, if you ever said the word no, no one will have a mass mandate. It's called courage. It's called the civil the civil disobedience. Because if the will of the people doesn't recognize the government of the United States. What's their function already? Each government of the world has its function because the people recognize it. If the people don't recognize it, guess what happens? It's no legitimacy. In England, the government is decided by the Queen. The Queen says, you know, Queen Elizabeth says, no, I don't like the party ruling there. Government has to be dissolved. Because you know why? People trust the Queen. Over here, we don't. We have the power. There's no king or queen saving us. So that's the thing, you know, the story is so special to be able to remind you. It's not fireworks, it's the right for you to be an American and to be a freedom, to be a free man. So this interesting years will happen that. See what happens. Okay? But this year day is, is a very, very special day because you know why? A few farmers, a few businessmen, a few masons. A few uh, Jewish people who you know, also like, gave money to the war. A few you know, Christians. 
a few Native Americans also contributed. You know why? They believe in a new country. That's the thing, man. Okay. That's the, 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 you know, as the rest of the country, it's the right of laws that people must recognize and accept. Legitimacy, the legitimacy of a of a, of a, of, a, of a government is in the people's hands. Okay, look at Laura Lightfoot, okay? She can scream whatever she wants, race in this thing. She knows that she doesn't, you know, what, you know, even though she's a mayor of Chicago, she knows that people don't like her. That's why in my opinion of that, you know, when people are, start, you know, will start passing laws, like uh, this girl, lady here in uh, Michigan, Miss, you know, Governor Whitmer, you know, she's going to be impeached that, but she pulled a lot of shenanigans to get to stay in power, but she knows her government's legitimate. That's the thing. Remember one thing, people recognize if you're bullshitting. And that's the thing, that's a, like here. Okay? Okay? In Nevada, most people here are, are Republicans and individualistic. Do you think our governor was just like over here he recognizes the people's rights? Yeah, no, he does, but he treads lightly because you know why? This is not the state over here, it's a red state, not a blue state. That's why the most important thing is this. A great leader wins the will of the people. If not, then, you know what I call this? That guy lost credibility as a leader, or everyone else up within the government. Okay? If you're not for the people, then you lost your legitimacy. That's why July 4th is for. For the people to celebrate that you're the true power.